Build Vision. Bala is from the African nation of Mali and plays a West African percussion instrument called the balaphone. It's an ancestor of the marimba and it's similar to the xylophone. Playing the balaphone is a tradition that has been passed down in his family for over 800 years and his family is in possession of the world's oldest balaphone. Mr. Kuyate began playing at the age of six, studying with his father, and is now considered the greatest balaphone virtuoso in the world. He later traveled to the U.S. and has since performed at prestigious venues, including Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center's Outdoor Festival, and the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. And in addition, he has collaborated with many internationally acclaim, acclaimed musicians and is featured on over 45 albums, garnering Grammy Awards for his work with Yo-Yo Ma on albums Songs for Joy and Peace. Bala's group World Vision is a fusion of his traditional music with jazz, blues, Cuban, and other genres. In addition to the balaphone, you will hear other African instruments, the kora, similar to a small harp, and a drum called the djembe, as well as electric bass, electric guitar, and others. Bala joined our music students for class yesterday, and we heard firsthand his incredible musicianship, his wicked skill on the balaphone, and his really interesting stories. His music is fun and engaging, and as we kick off International Weekend, I'm thrilled that you get to hear music that is steeped in history and is inclusive of such a variety of cultures and traditions. I would also like to give a big thank you to Ms. Durkee, who is good friends with Bala and who knew you, would got, you guys would love his music and who helped bring Bala here today. Please join me in welcoming Bala Kuyate and World Vision. Thank you. 
ಒಲಿ ಗೆಲ್ಲಲು ಬೇನಲ್ಲ audience who knows how to get involved because a lot of our music is about connecting together and doing something special. We are Crocodile River Music and we're named after Bala's hometown of Bamako. Everybody in the audience say Bamako. Bamako. You just said Crocodile River because the capital of Mali, Bamako, translates to Bama is Crocodile, Ko is river and we are doing Bamako music today. We're bringing you on a journey called Bamako to Blairstown. This is a special show just for you. If you look at the maps, you'll see some of the places we're going to touch base on, but we've got a special opportunity today to really focus into West Africa, so I'm hoping you're going to get something out of it. I want to introduce you to one of our leaders and a very good friend of ours. He's a master djembe player from Mali, West Africa, and he's just going to show you a little bit about the instrument that he's going to be featuring today. His name is Sidi Maiga. Can everyone give it up for Sidi Maiga? so shy. Okay, let's see. You know? Can you say you know everybody? You know? You know? You know? You know, no, no, you know, no, you know, no, you. You know? You know. Uh, good. 
So, <laughs> I love you guys, man. So this, this is called a djembe. Before I say that, can you give it up for Balakwete again? We are, we are all here for because of him, so thank you, Bala, for having us. And now I want to talk a little bit about this Jemmy. Me not speak English, but... Okay. So Jemmy is an instrument from West Africa. Uh, this was our way to celebrate life. We only play Jemmy to bring everybody together. So whenever we do something, you don't need a special invitation. When you hear the djembe, you just show up. And you don't have to bring food because we'll have enough food for everybody. <laughs> I love that. My favorite thing in life is free food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. You know, give it up, man, you know. See you, my God. You know. All right, the next song from Cuba. Is this a great guitar, uh, guitarist, uh, Americans named Rakuter, who went to Cuba? Have the, this uh, relationship with the Cuban artists there? Um, Buena, uh, Buena Vista Social Club, they had this uh, beautiful collaboration, brought that music to Carnegie Hall in New York City. So I'm just doing my own version out of that. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I'm gonna need some dancer here. Is any, any Latin dancer here? Who know how to dance Latin music? No? There we go.
this instrument is called Ingoni. I'd like everybody in the room to say Ingoni. Ingoni. That's kind of weak. Say it like this. Say Ingoni. Ingoni. That's what I need. The Ingoni is actually a calabash from Mali. It started off as a bow that a hunter invented this instrument by putting the bow inside a calabash with an antelope skin. This one is made with just a piece of wood from cabinetry, a goat skin, a calabash gourd all the way from Mali and there's some fancy electronics and tuners and all this stuff to kind of upgrade it to the modern living. It's um, used to tell about ancient stories going back to cover things from Segu and Mali and other times all the way back hundreds of years. And it's fun because it's a pentatonic instrument, so no matter what string you touch, you can't possibly make a wrong note, which is why I'm qualified to touch it myself. <laughs> and um, it's why you're qualified to touch it. And I'm looking for someone out there who says, hey, I can do something if I can't go wrong. I'm up for it. I need one person to come up here and try this and go in for me. And it's this person right in front with the gray sweatshirt on. Come on up. So just got a new gunner player. You know, this next song is called Gina Musso, and that means the genie lady. And I just want to dedicate it to our friend Lisa Berkey, who brought us here today. Without her, we wouldn't get to know y'all today. I know she's not with us, but this is for her. This is for you, Lisa. Thank <laughs> you. 
two ladies who are dancing so beautiful. That was a beautiful. Is that as a, a Bach piece, right? <laughs> okay, so my name is Che. My instrument is a steel drum or a pan. This was invented on the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago about, we have a, we have a Trini here? Oh, right. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Okay, so anyhow, where was I? Uh, on Trinidad, a little history because you're the right age for this. People your age started demonstrating against the British government in the 1880s. The British government wasn't happy. They had a very good little colony going there. So they decided, what's making the kids crazy? Drumming. It was making the kids crazy because the, the kids would all get together, they'd be doing drumming and having protests. Does it sound familiar? I think this is in Washington nowadays. Um, so anyhow, they banned drums like that, skin-headed drums. So the people started getting different lengths of bamboo and tapping them. If you get different lengths of bamboo and you have a good plan, you go bum, 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 right? This is called tambu bamboo. This is the precursor of the steel drum. They also were looking for other things to play, so they got cookie tins and biscuit tins and kerosene metal jugs and started playing on them. But then the great breakthrough came when the British and the American navies were established at Port of Spain in Trinidad, and they left thousands and thousands of big oil drums there. 55 gallon oil drum, mostly seen at gas stations as trash cans. But if you get that, you cut off the top of the trash can, you beat it in with a cannonball, and that's the actual tool they use for this, a cannonball, and then make a bunch of bumps inside that was figured out by, by uh, the saint of the steel drum, Ellie Minette. You have this beautiful sounding instrument coming from a recycled piece of metal. So, recycling at its finest to form this beautiful instrument. Now I think we'll have Cherno introduce the next song. Uh, thank you, Ted. Uh, but I need singers. Uh, I see you guys, I see people dance, but now I want to see uh, if you, wanna, you guys want to sing with us. So, I want to practice with you, it's very easy. It's very easy, it goes like, like when I say, all day, all night. All night. All day. All day. All night. All night. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. Obvious as we go along. <laughs>
inside children son even little children they love mary yard down by the seaside children son everybody say all day all day all night all night all day all day all night all day all day all day Thank you, you guys sound great. All right, all right. Uh, it seems like everybody's sitting down for some time, right? So I want to see everybody sweating. Are you guys ready to dance? Woo! Well, it's not, it's, not, it's not convincing. Are you guys ready to dance? All right, so before we get to that dancing part, uh, the instrument I'm playing in here called Balafon. Uh, this is my family instrument uh, going back to the 13th century. So not just playing uh, music, we recount the family history through the music. And it's a part of the tradition as well to know how to make your own instrument because it's not something you can just go to the guitar center and purchase one. So I made this one myself. That's how the Balafon looked like made out of the bamboo trees, gorge, and the rosewood. So each gorge you see in here have two holes, and each hole used to be covered by the spider web. But since I live in the US, I don't know where to find a spider web. <laughs> so I've been using the plastic from the Whole Food or, <laughs> or Walmart. So this next piece, called Maya Haglier, uh, which you mean in English, the respect. You know, what are we losing our society today? Is it a respect? Not respecting on our elders. Just reminding people, because that's a part of our job also, not just everything is not about love or, you know, just to give it a uh, positive message. How to not forget, because we only, we believe, we can only know where you get into if you know where you came from. So this piece, I'm sure that if going to get some of you on the stage, because I want to make sure I'll get it to everybody. Everybody's going to get sweating, because you know how, how cold it is outside, right? <laughs> so we're going to get that in a minute. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Oh, 
Nobody's gonna escape. We're gonna get there, all right? Yeah. See, this next piece, called Jarabi, which means we all have someone to love. You know how much we love our parents, right? So, we have a friend we love, we have a sister we love, you know, in the town. <laughs> so actually, also I have my sister here, Fanta Cuyate, she came always from New York. Yeah. And then I have my Jatgi here, which is uh, the call host. And uh, in our tradition, they're the one who's been supporting our family way, 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 way back. Mr. Sisoko here as well from New York. 
Désolé. Allez. Favoli Kouman, Favoli Daba. So this next piece, Jarawi, enjoy.
Thank you. All right, so we've been playing a lot of song here, a lot of dancing. Before we end this, is there anybody here have any question for us about the instrument, about everything you see in here on the stage, about a dancer, <laughs> you know, anything. So please feel free to ask any question. I don't know how often it is you have people from Senegal, Mali, Guinea all together, but today is your day. I see some hands out there. Someone got a mic out there? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah shout it out. Ask first. No, nobody wants to ask first. Okay. 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 I have no. Yeah, right here. Yeah, oh. Someone else too? Oh, good. Oh. Stand up. Oh. Oh. This is right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is all right. <laughs> One is the same piece that I'm playing on the Ngoni. It's a calabash board that's cut into half and scraped out, kind of like you do a jack-o'-lantern. And then we just have some tape on it to keep the edges together. And it's like a traditional version of a drum set. In the old days, sometimes you'd put it on top of water. And a lot of times in women's ceremonies, they would play it yeah. sitting on a bowl of water. True? Yeah. That's yes. right. Yeah. But now we're playing it with a heavy-duty PZM mic and <laughs> <laughs> instant trap kit without all the stands and the hassle of tuning it. So that's called a calabash. Great question. Yes. So I'm interested in the um, dance. Is there? Um, can you tell us about um, the traditional dance um, movements? I had a friend from Mexico who showed me some of the traditional dance moves from Mexico, and she said many of them started through the traditions of agriculture. And I wonder if there's any similarity. And she was a teacher of dance today. She was a Mexican teacher of dance. Oh, okay. So she was right. talking about totally different traditions. So I'm curious to know. First, are you from Mali? And are, I'm from Mali, I'm from Guinea, I'm from Senegal. Senegal? Yes. Yes, okay. So, um, is, is the dance um, that you do currently, is some of it related to, um, to older dance traditions? Of course, it's a traditional dance. Anything we do when it's a happiness, like you got to get married, have a baby. Mm -hmm. Any happiness we have to do, we have to put the I'm dance on. <laughs> Anything, yes. just yes. if it's somebody not there no more, we can do that. Yeah. But anything that's a happiness going on on our culture, we always dance. <laughs> you know, it's a part of our class, everything. Yeah, yes. Dance seems like joy and body. Yes, and <laughs> if you don't mind, I can. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, we have the similar thing about dancing. And usually, I don't know, for some reason, all, all the time women come out with the dancing. So it's fun. So usually when something happens in a woman's life, they dance for that particular reason. And sometimes some of the rhythm you see us, uh, you hear play, us playing, they come from dance step. Like some of the dance, if your son go in the immigration and they come back safe, so usually women will cry and sing. They start dancing because of the happiness. You know, so that's how most things happen. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we have time for one more. And yes. Yeah. Oh, you raised your hand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, were you just choreographed or was it kind of impromptu or a mix? Is it, if, 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 no, just improvise it like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes. All right, all right. We don't even need to like a preparer to bring people on the stage, or maybe I'd be doing my own choreography and to dance. No, we traditional like that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ben. <laughs> Anybody else? Come on. Huh? Yes. Oh, totally. Uh, well, we're just gonna do one right now, actually, just to respond to your question <laughs> before, yeah, before the last piece. Any other question? Yeah.
this. So this is like a hi hat for the gym. So before we used to use a where this thing called needle is like a milk powder. So the container of those things, we used to open it and make more and put this thing so you can win. Like this. The name of it's called Seke Seke, because when you shake it, it goes Seke Seke Seke. <laughs> 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 Alright. Seke Seke. Yes? Uh, how important would you say music and dance is to your culture and history? Say that again? How important is music and dance um, to your cultural history? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> For many reasons. Because I'm, first of all, it doesn't matter where culture you came from. You're not going to find anybody in, this, in a planet that's going to tell you, oh, I don't like any music. <laughs> right? No matter where you came from, you're going you know, to love some sort of music. Yeah. Right? So the music is a part of life, I believe. You know, I don't, I, for, the way I believe about the music, without music today, I don't know if it would have survived for that long. Because the world would be, you know, so miserable without music. It doesn't matter. After it don't have to be African music, but in music in general, does that make sense? And the dance also is a healing in the human body, I guess, right? So between you know the relationship between the drummer, the drum, and the female, any woman, we have this expression in Africa: if you said any woman got sick. Everybody feeling sorry for the woman. She's like, oh, I'm not feeling well, but she had a gym mate. Going, blah, 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 blah. And then she just shake her head. <laughs> Things is not going well. Yeah. Otherwise, no matter what, they hear this drum. It doesn't matter. It don't have to be African women and women in general. They hear the drum banging. They just want to move. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> so I believe that's every, everybody culture. You know, the drumming, when it comes to rhythm, everybody feel the rhythm, right? So, I guess that's why the music is a part of us, I know. Not just African history or tradition. The music is in every tradition, I guess. Yeah. Can I say something on sure, that, please? You know, Bala's a lot of things, but one of the things he is is a jelly, or in French they call it griot. It's like an oral historian. So part of his job is, you asked about cultural history. Part of his job is to know the stories of all of West Africa, each family going back past the 1200s. So without that musical piece, a lot of times the, the jellies might just be singers, but almost always they have somebody with them that's part of the music. So that stuff has some ancient traditions that's a real key to passing on the message from generation to generation, even what Bala learned from his uncles and his dad and his mom, and now he's teaching to his two kids in Boston. That's kind of going across the ocean and being part of the new jellies in America. So it's a key element to, to a lot of cultural history, just to put one more point on that. Thank you. Does that answer your question? And then also, I have a special guest here today. I was doing a class earlier, out right here. I had a few students. I think her name is it Nina or not? Nina. 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 There we go. So, we was doing this song, and she sounds so beautiful. And I said, you know what? How about we perform with us today? And she was down for it. Yeah, she just stop it today. That's your mic right here. So I'm sure this song, all of you guys here in this room might recognize the song. And I want to see everybody dancing in that last piece. OK? Everybody in this room. When do we get there? I'm gonna make sure everybody's staying up. But we're gonna get in a minute. So if you feel the song too, you can sing with us too. But she's gonna be the lead singer of this song. Thank you. Thank you, Blair Academy. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks everybody. Thanks for having us. Thank you, song person. Kubeza 
Stay. 